the cat and a bad banana. Pete the cat is eating a banana. Pete loves banana. They were sweet and tasty and easy to peel. But one day, every morning, Pete puts a banana in his cereal. Sometimes Pete puts a banana on his peanut butter sandwich. But one day, it happened. Pete eats a bad banana. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy, yucky. The banana is yucky. Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas ever again because they're horrible. Pete tells his mom, pink stuff. What is pink stuff? No one knows because it's pink stuff. Pete's mom tries to help. Help. She she bakes Pete's favorite banana bread. Pete will not touch it. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. Pete will not eat it. She gets Pete a Big banana split. No thanks, Pete says. Instead, Pete tries a lemon. It is yellow like a banana, Pete tastes it. Yuck, says Pete. The lemon is sour! <laughs> He tries an orange. It has to be peeled like a banana. The orange is sweet, but it is too juicy. It makes Pete's paw sticky. No, it doesn't. Pete tries fish, plums, rice, hot dogs, watermelon, and his mom's nut bread. Pete eats them all. He is not hungry for bananas anymore. When comes the big race, what should Pete have for his breakfast? A pickle? No, Pete doesn't doesn't eat a pickle. Pickles for breakfast. A hot dog? No! He just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No, that's just silly! Then it started. Pete wants a banana. They're yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Do you have another banana? Pete asks. Of course, says Greg, the monkey. He is worried. Pete peels the banana slowly. It is not brown. It is not mushy. Pete takes a teeny, teeny bite. Teeny, tiny bite. It is yummy banana. It is the best banana ever in the whole entire universe. I will die for this banana. Thanks to Greg, his banana literally made Pete win the race. Incredible, because he's third place. Pete is bananas for the bananas. The end. And that's the story of the Pete, Pete the Cat and the Nuss and the Banana. Goodbye. Oof.